Hey everyone, this is Rafi here. It's time for a DVD and Blu-ray update for April 20th, 2022. <clears throat> for this update, I have 20, 23 DVDs and two Blu-rays to show you. So let's not waste any time. Let's get started, shall we? Start with the DVDs. And I will point out which ones I got part of the pun today. Which th the free DVDs I got part of the pun today, I should say. Focus Features movie. Even though in the case has the 2015 Entertainment One logo, but this DVD still has the 2010 Entertainment One logo. So, yeah. And these next two is one of three Quebec stuff I bought today. All three are from Tivia. One of Wait, no. These next... Two, one, two... One, two, three... Four Quebec stuff I borrowed today. One out of... The three DVDs except for one are from Tivia. This one's a Quebec show. Two of them are Quebec shows. You can see the bottom portion of the back has been cut off, but I know this is a 2011 DVD. And there's a little crack right here, but this might still play fine. And you can see the cases, discs are partially stacked. Kind of weird looking case, to be honest. This next show I have never heard about. This is from, this is me with Duo Productions, at least on TV by Tivia. I'm not going to bother pull these discs out because the discs aren't in here are really pain, really a pain to get it out. So I am not going to bother pull the uh, discs out. So, yeah, as you can see, it has these little things right there, as you can see. This was clean on February 3rd, 2019. And these next, <clears throat> this next DVD, this is one of three DVDs that I got a part of the pond today after I'm done work. Yes, um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm not gonna bother to say because of personal reasons. This is the 2016 live action version of the Jungle Book, which I have not seen this version yet. As you can see, the case, the cover on this is not the greatest condition, but I'm sure this might still work okay. And plus, I do like Bill Murray, so why not decide to check this out? Part of the Alpha Hitchcock collection, the only Alpha Hitchcock film I borrowed today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nighttime 9 DVD. Originally put up on November 29th, 2012. This may hurt, it's supposed to be a pretty funny movie, so 
I'm gonna have to check this movie out sometime. I don't have the sequel, Asian Cody Banks 2 Destination London yet, but I might get that movie. I might get that one sometime. This one's a double feature set. They're both Quebec movies. I already did the opening to Error, but I did not did Romeo and Juliet yet. Both Quebec movies. <clears throat> Romeo and Juliet is from 2006, and Error is from 2005. And I checked Error. This has the alternate fanfare, but I've not checked Romeo and Juliet yet. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure Romeo and Juliet might probably either have the regular fanfare or alternate fanfare, but... We'll see when did he opening the Wilmy on Juliet. Both on flipper discs. I'm pretty sure these DVDs have the same master as the original releases from 2007, earlier from 2005, and Wilmy and Juliet, I believe, from 2006 or 2007. I don't know. And basically, this is look like a parody of Scarface. Here's another one I got part of the pun today. <clears throat> Edit him a one reprint, but I'm sure this DVD will still have the same master as the Alliance DVD. This will probably, not sure this will probably gonna have the regular fanfare at the beginning. And this next one, this is a movie I really want to check out. Heard really great things about this movie, so I'm definitely going to have to check this movie out sometime. This is a Netflix movie. And this was donated to the L.P. Fisher Public Library. Fox Searchlight Pictures movie. And this DVD still has the same master as the 2001 DVD. Weinstein Company movie. This movie is almost three hours long. And this next, this next one's brand. This one, this, uh, I can't talk today. And this, this next DVD, this is one of the last three DVDs I got at the part of the pond today. And this was Reseal, which I already opened up on camera. Already opened up. Borkin Creek movie released from Universal. One more from an unknown video store. Can go back to Scotland. Zonfon. <clears throat> this is a France movie. This movie's originally released by Warner Brothers in France, but Alliance held the Canadian home video rights and and I, <clears throat> back in around sometime in 2015, I actually did the opening of this on my VHS and DVD Openings 1000 DOE channel on my older channel before I no longer use it anymore. And <clears throat> if you want to see it on my uh, older channel, but I might do this again on my channel, my newer channel, if in better quality. And this has the alternate fanfare at the beginning and this actually has the warner home video logo before the alliance logo at the beginning which is pretty rare on alliance dvd and just like say good night to the bad guys this is the editor team of one reprint this is a quebec stand-up
the only Just for Laughs DVD I borrowed today. Europe Court movie released on DVD by Seville or this means original this means original release on DVD by Image Entertainment in the US full on from Blockbuster I'm assuming whoops now I was I, I did the opening of this but um most of my most of the comments are complained about the not showing the THX cavalcade THX logo. I forgot to show the THX logo, so I probably might redo the opening to with showing the THX logo very soon. That's why I had to report. Uh oh. That failed. But oh well. All the media this time. This is a reprint from 2006. Originally put up on November 22nd, 2012. This DVD might probably have the same master as the Night High A DVD. The season ran from Unite Artist Film from 1963. STX Movie. Now onto the two Blu-rays. Weinstein Company Movie. And looks like this is a France co-production, apparently. Full more from Cine Video Club. Now onto the last blue, which is pretty rare. Yep, this is the Australian blue of The Dark Knight Rises. I was not expecting the bolt found this at my library. And now I did. Well, it's a DVD. Well, region four, as you can see. So this may not work on NTSC players. It's a DVD, actually. So yeah, that's it for this update. And I'll see you later.